Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Now today I'm doing the 10 cards one kit using the Love From Lizzie February 2018 card kit. So we're gonna make 10 cards so we need to jump in and get started with card number one. Now I cut out this little candle cut out. I only used four of the candles and I thought I'd give these candles a little bit of an accent. So this is a um, Zig uh, two-way glue pen. It's on the thicker side. If you have a smaller one, I think it'd probably work a little bit better. But I just added a little bit of glue to the candle tops. Next, I'm gonna grab a piece of white cardstock and I'm using this little scalloped border die here. And I'm gonna cut out a small scallop. And using that same glue, I'm gonna go over just the edges of my scallop area with the glue. Now, I wanted to use the gilding flakes that came in the kit, so I have a plastic container here, and I'm just gonna open up this little bag and throw some of the flakes in here. I find this is easier and less messy for me to do. Um, and then I just keep them in my little container, and then whenever I wanna use them, they're ready and easy, easily available for me. <laughs> I found with these, a little bit goes a really long way, so I'm just taking my tweezers and adding a little bit of gold to my candle tops there. And then I decided, I had this sponge in my stash. I honestly don't know where I got it from. Um, it was still in the package when I took it out. I probably got it a Tuesday morning on, on clearance. But I'm using this sponge to kind of burnish those gilding flakes um, inside the scallop and on top of the candles in the flame areas. Any kind of sponge you have will work just fine with this. I'm just blending those gilding flakes in right where the glue was. And I love the effect that this gives. It adds gold foiling to any element that has any part of your element that has glue. It's a lovely accent. So there we have a little gold scalloped on the very edge and then a few little gold flakes on my candle tops. Now I'm taking this pattern paper and I'm going to cut out a panel here. And then I also, you can see I wrapped some of the gold ribbon that came in Lizzie's kit around my scalloped area. I'm going to pop up my cutout with the candles and the scallop here with some foam tape. And then I'm just going to remove the backing and place my candles to the left side of this panel that I had cut out using the pattern paper in the kit. Now this panel is three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. And then I'm going to place my little scalloped edge right below it. Now Lizzie's kit came with a fantastic little sticker book, lots of stickers. Um, so I decided to use this one here that says best day ever. I'm just gonna flip it over, add a little bit of foam tape behind it and use this for my sentiment. Place it on my panel. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the gold ribbon well, actually, I added a few little stars. There were um, some gold stars in the sticker set. So I added two small ones and then one of the medium ones. I'm going to remove this and put that smaller one next to my sentiment. And then another small one here. And then I'll add the, the medium-sized one up there on the candles. But once I have all that done, I'm going to take some more of that gold ribbon. I'm going to tie a little bow. And then just using a glue dot... I'm going to secure that right below my sentiment. I love the colors in this kit. I think it was so, so vibrant and fun. So I had a blast making my 10 cards here. So that's my panel. I'm just going to flip it over, add some foam tape behind it. And then for my card bases today, I decided to use all white card bases. So this is a standard A2 size card base. It's a top folding four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. Now I added um, some of my um, glossy accents to the tops of my candles, my candle flames there, just for a little shimmer right over the gilding flakes. And then to bring in a little bit more pink, I'm using the Bubblegum Blush Nouveau Crystal Drops that came in the kit. And that's it for that card. I love the way this turned out. I think it was a fun birthday card. <laughs> Here's a close up. Lovely. Okay, now we're gonna move along to card number two. We're gonna do some stamping using um, Lizzie's exclusive stamp set. And I chose the, um, the birthday present here. This birthday present says it's a special day. And what I'm gonna do is stamp four presents 
and I'm just using some Simon's Stamp ink. I did choose to use my mini Misty because of the solid image of the stamps and I, I was afraid um, that I, my stamping wouldn't be the greatest so the Misty helps out a lot. So the first present was, water, uh, was Rose Red. Now I'm going to go in with some Watermelon Wonder and then I am going to go in with the Mint Macaron and the Crushed Curry. So I have four pretty presents. Now I'm just going to fussy cut all of these out. Nice, fun, vibrant colors. <laughs> okay, they're all fussy cut out. Now, I thought for the ribbons, I thought it'd be fun to add some gold accents to those as well. Here's where a smaller glue pen would work really great. I know if you have a, a quickie glue pen, it would work great, or a Nouveau glue pen works great for the Gilding Flakes also. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the bow portion of my present. I'm going to grab my little box of gilding flakes here and just using my tweezers I'm going to add some flakes to the very top part and then using my little sponge I'm going to kind of burnish them in and so all my little presents have little gold accents I think they look real pretty okay now we need to work on our panel for our panel, I have a piece of this black and white pattern paper, and I am going to, I have a piece of white cardstock also. What I'm going to do is just take my tape runner and add some glue to the very bottom of my white cardstock. Then I'm going to add the pattern paper, and then I have a stitched rectangle die. I'm going to just place my die right on top and cut out my panel. I, I often layer them like this. Um, because I like stitching all the way around my panels. Next I'm going to take this really thin mint green ribbon and I'm going to tie a bow to the right here. Lovely. I'm just adding some foam tape behind all of my presents and I'm going to arrange them on my panel. Just going to remove the backing and place them kind of wonky on my panel. <laughs> Sorry about my phone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip this over and have foam tape, foam tape behind here. And again, I'm using a white card base. I'm just going to place that right in the center. And then next, I want to take some of the sequins that came in Lizzie's kit. There is some black little hearts. I'm going to add three of those to this card here. And that's it. That's it for card number two. Nice fun birthday gift. <laughs> or a birthday card. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move along to card number three. I'm using the black cardstock that came in the kit. Now this black cardstock is the one that has a little bit of texture to it. And I'm taking two of my rectangle dies and I'm going to cut out a frame with those. Now once we have that done, I'm going to take this pattern paper and I want it, um, I want the pattern to be at a diagonal. So I'm placing my frame on top and then using the largest die that I used to create my frame, I'm going to cut out my background panel. And I think that looks, that's going to look great. Now, I wanted to use these, um, these little wooden hearts. So what I'm doing is taking some temporary adhesive and I'm sticking them down to a piece of scratch paper. Once I have that done, I'm going to grab my Versamark ink, go over each of those hearts, and then grab some scratch paper. I'm going to use some of this as uh, Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail Gold Embossing Powder. I'm going to emboss these little wood veneer hearts here. And they emboss beautifully. I love the way this looks. So I'm just going to remove my temporary adhesive from the back. And I have three real pretty little gold hearts. Now, for my next step, I thought it would be really fun to do something a little different. Um, 
these pillows are amazing. I really like these. These are so versatile. So what I decided to do was thread a piece of the peel off through the hole in the heart. And then I'm going to just take the, the glued backing pieces and stack them together. Um, and so there's no sticky, but I have a nice little string that's attached to my gold heart. I think that they looked so cute and so fun that way. Now I did that to all three hearts and then using my tape runner, I'm going to add some tape to the very top part of my frame. And then I'm going to just arrange them to the left side of this panel here. I'm placing them on my, um, my pattern paper just to, for placement purposes. I wanted to know where, where to put them. But I added them and then on my frame I added some foam tape. Now I'm ready to attach that to my pattern paper panel. Now um, just to keep my little heart straight I decided to add some foam tape behind my little wood hearts there. Okay, now we need a sentiment for my sentiment. I decided to use the sticker book again using a black piece of cardstock. This is also the same cardstock that came in the kit. Now I'm going to take the sticker that says live the life you you love and I'm placing it on my black cardstock and then I'm just going to trim a black border around this little fishtail banner here. I think it'll add a lot of definition to my card. Now it's my sentiment's going to go there, but what I did do was trim off the left side of the sentiment. I'm just going to cut a little piece off. And then after I did that, I wish I really hadn't did that. So I'm going to just stick it back on there. <laughs> so I just glued down everything on my card base, my standard A2 size card base. And that's it for card number three. Okay, now we're going to move along to card number four. I wanted to use this cute, I love my cupcakes. <laughs> so I decided to use this cupcake pattern paper. Now I cut out a panel. This panel is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. I'm going to adhere that to the green cardstock that came in the kit. Now, um, later on, I ended up removing it. I decided not to use the green cardstock. But next, I'm going to take this circle die and cut out a circle on this panel here. Now once we have that done, I'm going to take this little cut apart and using a smaller size circle, circle die, I'm going to cut out a circle around that cupcake there. Now you can see here, this is where I removed the green cardstock, but these are the elements I wanted to use for my card and it's going to basically go like that. I already popped everything up with phone tape. Now all I had to do was adhere it down, which I did already. And then for some bells and whistles, I'm going over the cupcake top with my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And then I did decide to go in with my glossy accents. Now I think all cupcakes need sprinkles. But before we do the sprinkles, I wanted to use the Bubblegum Blush Nouveau Crystal Drops. So I'm just going around my cupcake. There's actually some little dot lines on this, this little cupcake panel. And I'm just adding three dots all around my little cupcake. And I love the dimension that that gives. Now after we get that done, I'm going to go in with some seed beads. Now I had these seed beads, these are like um, a mix of all different kinds. I kind of created my own little confetti mix. And I love decorating cookies and cupcakes with seed beads. So I'm going to add some to my cupcake there. And what happens is they just dry inside that glossy accent and creates a real fun effect. But that's it for that card. Really cute. I love this little decorated cupcake. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move along to card number five. I'm going to take the circle die and cut out the Celebrate. This card is a super duper simple one, but it, it's a birthday card and I think it looks fantastic. I'm going to take the leftover piece of this pattern paper, cut out a strip. This is a two inch strip. And then I'm going to use this polka dot pattern paper and I'm going to cut out a one inch strip. And I'm going to use this yellow heart pattern paper and I'm going to cut out a one and a half inch strip. Now I went ahead and fishtailed all the ends of these and I'm going to directly adhere my largest fishtail banner directly on my card base. And then using some foam tape, I'm going to pop up the, the yellow heart pattern paper and also the um, polka dot pattern paper and place that directly on my card base. I added foam tape behind my um, 
my sentiment here and I'm going to place that towards the top part of my banners. Now for bells and whistles, I decided to add some sequins, just a few colors that coordinated with the pattern paper. I'm kind of going through the sequin mix, figuring out the colors that I want to use. <laughs> And then once we have that done, I'm going to take my white gel pen and I'm going to do some faux stitching around the celebrate circle. And that is it for that card. Simple and easy, but really festive, real fun. I love the colors. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move along to card number six. Now, card number six, I wanted to cut out this cute little birthday cake. And I just fussy cut around it. And then I wanted to use these two pattern papers here. I wanted to use the stripes and then also the polka dots. So I'm going to cut out a strip of the striped paper. And then I'm going to use my tape runner and adhere that to the polka dot pattern paper. And then I'm going to use the same thing, or I'm going to do the same thing that I did before with my stitched rectangle die. I'm going to cut out my panel this way. Just place that, place that die right on top of my card my pattern paper here and I'll run that through my die cut machine. Now you can see I did add a bow to it, the pink bow that came in the kit. Now I'm just going to place this on my card base. And after I had did this, I decided to um, change the placement of my bow. <laughs> I'm going to pop up, this is the, uh, one of the chalkboard pieces that came in a 12 by 12 cutout sheet. I just fussy cut around that and that's going to go in the center of my card base here. And here's where I changed my mind on the placement of my bow. So I'm going to actually lift up my panel all with everything on it and kind of twist my bow around so it's all the way to the left here. I added foam tape on the bottom of my cake pedestal here and then I added tape uh, with my tape runner on the very top part and I'm just gonna place that right next to the bow. I think that looks so fun. I love the colors. I love, it just screams yummy. <laughs> okay, once I have that done, I decided to go into the sticker sheet and add a few of the um, white hearts with gold outline. And that completes card number six. Love the way that turned out. <laughs> Here's a close up. Okay, now for card number seven, I wanted to, I cut out this hello, and I wanted to use this pattern paper. This is the larger heart pattern paper that came on the cutout sheet. I'm just going to cut out a strip of this, and I'm using my hello kind of as a measuring guide. Next, using some temporary adhesive, I'm going to add my hello to that pattern paper, and then taking my scissors, I'm going to go around the bottom part of my hello just so it kind of um, echoes my sentiment there I think that's a fun little accent to a card I did pop that hello up with foam tape and place that on the panel this is the specialty card stock that came in the kit that looks like chalkboard this is this is really smooth stuff um, hindsight I think I would have probably tried embossing with this I bet it embosses beautifully but anyway, I added a piece to the bottom of my card base, and then I'm just going to trim down my heart pattern paper here, and I'm going to pop that up with foam tape. And I layered both of those together, and then just to give it a little bit of shimmer, I'm using some of the gold peel-offs that came in the kit. I lined that entire black um, cardstock on the bottom with the larger peel-offs, and I'm using the extra small peel-offs that came in these little sheet here, and I added two little rows there. For a few little accents, I'm going to go in with the Bubblegum Blush Nouveau Crystal Drops. And we're going to call that card done. Very simple, but very cute. Now, for card number eight, I wanted to use these cutouts that had the clouds in it. Now these are meant, I think, for sentiments, but I wanted to use them for something other other than a sentiment. So I took these two, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna use this pink pattern paper you can see in the background there. And I'm just kind of arranging them to where you can't see um, the thought bubble part. So I just cut them out using a stitched rectangle die, 
This was the leftover piece and I thought, well, I'm gonna take, use my tape runner and add it to the bottom here. So I have a little bit more cloud. <laughs> I'm gonna take this largest cloud and add some foam tape behind that. And then I'm gonna place that back on my panel there. Lovely. Now that's going to be my background. Now we need something to go in that little background. So I decided to take a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to use do some stamping. In the stamp set there's a balloon that says flying by to say hi. And I thought it would go perfect with this little scene. So I'm going in with some crushed curry ink. I'm inking up my balloon and I'm going to stamp it. And you can see I didn't stamp it very well the first time or the second time or the third time. This is where my Misty is a blessing. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp it one more time. And I think the fourth time it stamped really good. Now I'm just going to fussy cut out my balloon. And then in my stash I have some coordinating Baker's twine. I'm going to add a little bow to the bottom of the balloon here. And then once I have that done I'll flip it over. And then I'm going to add a string to the very back. I'm just going to secure the string with a piece of foam tape. Lovely. And then I think that's going to look great on our little background. I'm going to remove the backing. Now I'm kind of playing with my placement. I wasn't sure where to put it. But I did eventually find a home for it. <laughs> I thought about twirling the, the twine and then changed my mind. I just decided to go straight up and down. And I think there's a perfect place. I'm going to wrap that twine around the back side of my panel. And I just secured it with a piece of foam tape because I am going to pop this entire panel up with foam tape. So I think this worked out great. For my card base again, it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I'm just going to place this panel right in the center. Now for a few bells and whistles, I decided to add some gold sequins. So I went through the sequin mix and I just picked out the large and the small gold sequins and added them around my panel. And that's it for that card. Okay, now moving on to card number nine. Now, card number nine, I have a piece of white cardstock here and we're gonna do some stamping. So I grabbed, I wanna grab the First balloon says birthday. Actually, first balloon says happy. So I'm going to stamp that with, this is um, Stampin' Up Mint Macaroon ink. And then I'm going to stamp the birthday with Watermelon Wonder. And then I'm going to go in with the Red Rose ink with, with the balloon that says happy birthday. And I learned that if you take the, the balloon and you ink it up and then you kind of hold it a little bit on your paper before you lift up, the ink can kind of set inside the paper and it works fabulous. Once I have that done, I'm going to go in with some crushed curry and I'm going to grab the blank balloon that kind of has the swirlies around it and I'm going to stamp that. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to fussy cut all of these balloons. And then I have some black twine that's in my stash. I'm going to create some little balloon strings with my ta my black twine. Now instead of tying a bow with all of these, I decided just to tie a knot and trim it. And then take some of the black twine and add it to the back of the balloon. So I'm going to do that to all of the balloons. Now you can see my panel on the back, I have a piece of white cardstock and I used some of the black and white pattern paper. I added a strip of that to the right side. I'm just kind of arranging my balloons on my little panel here. Once I like the placement, I'll remove, I did pop them up with foam tape, so I'm going to remove the backing off the foam tape and then I'm just going to set them in place. I'm just kind of keeping those strings as straight as I can. Because what I'm going to end up doing is take those strings, I'm going to flip them around the back panel, and I'll secure them with some foam tape. Oh, 
Well, actually, my tape runner. <laughs> and then I added bone tape to the entire panel. And I think that looks great. Now, I did cut a strip of... This is the chalkboard specialty paper that came in the kit. I cut out a strip of this here. I'm just going to trim it down. And then I decided to go in with the yellow heart pattern paper. I'm going to cut a small strip out of that. And then that's going to go in the center of my black cardstock there. And trim off the ends and then I'll pop this up with some foam tape and I think it's going to look great right there. I was going to add that piece and change my mind. <laughs> So we're going to flip this over, add foam tape, and then place that on our card base. And that completes card number nine. Okay, now we're going to move along to card number ten, our final card for today. Now, for card number ten, I decided to create a panel with the black cardstock in the kit. This panel is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And then I did fussy cut out the cutout that had the little floral arrangement on the bottom. I decided to take Lizzie's gold peel offs here and I am gonna place four of them in the center of this black panel. And I am, I'm using the lines on my grid mat to help me keep them straight. That's the lovely thing about having a grid mat. It helps out so much. Now the strips that I'm using are the largest strips in the kit. And I'm just going to trim those off and place them back on Lizzie's peel-off sheet. You can always use those later. <laughs> I popped up this panel with some foam tape. And that's going to go directly in the center of my card, my panel here. Now I decided for my background, I went through the pattern paper and I really like the floral powder, uh, the white floral pattern paper. So I cut out a panel. Oh no, I grabbed the sentiment. I want to dream big. So I just added foam tape behind the, the dream big and placed that in the center. And then added a gold bow right on top of it. Now here's where I went in and created a panel with the floral pattern paper. I just glued that to my card base, popped up the black card card panel and then that's it for that card now thank you so much so much for stopping by guys here's a quick look at all 10 cards that I made using the love from Lizzie February 2018 card kit I appreciate you so much and I hope this gives you so many ideas on how to use the kit um, I'll leave links below and if you're interested in the kit I'm not sure if they're still available but I'll let you know in the description area if it is I wish you a fantastic day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.